Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to mine. Um, if it's the first time you're passing through, please subscribe, share and like. And, you know, you can make comments and, yeah, you can interact with my subscribers. For my subscribers, thank you for your comments, for your feedback and all that kind of stuff. Now, love has many faces and so do I. Um, I like to change. It's a part of me. I... You know, I get lots of comments about me changing my image, changing my hair. But you know what? It's it's like recreating. Every day I feel like a different person. And I just like to bring out the best of me, depending on what mood I'm in. Sometimes I feel like crap, and I probably look like crap on my videos. And then sometimes I don't feel too bad, and I probably not don't look too bad on my videos. And then sometimes I feel sensational, and I wonder if that's reflected in my videos also. But anyway... Back to the matter of hand, Jamaica, fingerprints in schools. Teachers are being fingerprinted to prove their attendance in schools. Have you ever heard of anything so ridiculous? Anyway, um, apparently, I don't know what they did before. I don't know if you clocked in in the UK. Uh, well, teachers wouldn't clock in. No, it's usually just um, work, you know, warehouse workers and those kind of people usually and postal workers, they normally clock in. But you wouldn't really find teachers clocking in. But that would tell uh, them what time you've come in, what time you're leaving. But to be fingerprinted to prove that you're attending school, that is a bit much. I mean, you're criminalising the teachers. Anyway, um, the Minister with Responsibility for Education, Youth and Information, Honourable Carl Samuda, says schools must seek permission from the ministry in writing before implementing any electronic system that will require biometric data. So I wonder who authorised it in the first place. Speaking in the House of Representatives on September the 17th, Mr Samuda said that a teacher cannot be fired for refusing to comply with a request for fingerprint scanning at schools. While the Ministry understands the need for an accurate record-keeping system, teachers cannot be compelled to provide biometric data such as fingerprints in schools. Section 3A of the Fingerprint Act directs that a person can only be compelled to provide fingerprints in a specific criminal matters. I wish that was the case in the UK. The law also allows for an individual the right to refuse to give fingerprints, Mr Samuda said. Can you imagine if we refused to give fingerprints, all hell would break loose. We'd be called for contempt of court holding up evidence, all kind of stuff, obstructing police practice. The minister was responding to media reports of unease among some teachers at Mona High School in Kingston, who are being asked to submit their fingerprints as part of the process of confirming their attendance at school. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. They're taking this thing as a dibby-dibby thing. You know, fingerprints aren't something to mess around with. But there again, I guess if we decriminalise fingerprints, we won't feel so fearful about it. Because when you think about it, we're using our fingerprints to open our apps. We're using our fingerprints to access social media. We're using our fingerprints to access bank accounts. So I guess if we decriminalise it, it wouldn't feel so bad. But at the moment, it's not decriminalised. You feel like a criminal if you're being asked for your fingerprints. But soon, it will be a way of life. Doesn't take away that, you know, it's wrong. But Mr Samuda and the Ministry will be working with the Jamaica's Teacher Association, JTA, and other stakeholders to find alternative record-keeping solutions. So I wonder what they did before. How did they monitor who was in school and who wasn't? I guess there's been some kind of um, breach in the schools. Somebody's been taking liberty in the schools and bunking off or not turning up and saying they turned up and then they're being paid for it. And then they can, you know, somebody's snitched on them or something like that. That must be what's happened because there has to have been a system in place, but the system's obviously not effective. There are alternative systems in place to achieve the objectives without the use of biometric data. 
Extensive sensitization and consultation should be conducted prior to the implementation of any electronic system for the purpose that this was introduced, he noted. The minister, the minister said that where schools are permitted to implement the system by the Education Ministry, alternative arrangements must be provided for those staff members who are not comfortable with the use of their fingerprints. So, like I said, you know, it all depends on how you feel. If they're making you feel like a criminal, you're not going to want to give your fingerprints. I don't think people can do anything with fingerprints. I mean, you know, it's very unlikely that they can copy them. So, um, yeah, it all depends, like I said. If they decriminalise it and you use it often enough and they make it look like it's how you're using it on your phone, then maybe the teachers won't feel so bad. But anyway, it's each to their own. People are still not going to feel comfortable with it, especially old schoolers. It's um, the modern young people might not feel too worried about it. But oh, this is a sign of things to come. Take care for now. Bye-bye.